In Delaware County, though, some residents are frustrated over how Norfolk Southern is handling a train derailment near their homes. It happened in late January, and there is still a lot of cleanup work left. NBC 4's Eric Halperin is not far from that crash site, has the very latest on those efforts. Eric? Jared and Jen, the director of the local emergency management agency, tells me he called Norfolk Southern this morning. At last check, he had not heard back from them yet. Under this bridge is where you can see some of the derailed cars. This is by Curve Road, not far from Sunbury Road in Delaware County. Our video from above gives you another look at the site. Five cars are here now, but we have not heard back from Norfolk Southern as to how many were involved. Records from the sheriff's office show Norfolk Southern called about the derailment happening a little after 515 in the evening on January 27th. Deputy EMA Director Scott Stewart says based on what Norfolk Southern has told the agency, no hazardous materials were involved. As a resident actually lives in the area near that that train derailment, um, you know, are your our safety and the safety of the residents is most important, you know, so we're doing everything we can to make sure that the community is safe. And I've reached out to Norfolk Southern as well, but have not heard back yet. Coming at him up on NBC 4 at 5, you hear from a resident who lives in the area who's wondering what is going on with the cleanup. As you can see, the trains, these trails are back open now. Local for you in Delaware County, I'm Eric Halpern, NBC 4.